This video contains three ways how to raise your discipline and is unique and unlike anything you've seen before. Stay tuned to see what I mean. Number one, hit your head pin. Bowling is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is knock down as many pins as you can. And you do this by throwing strikes. That's when you knock down all the pins. Here's something fascinating I've observed about bowling. And just so you know, this isn't me. This is just stock footage just so that you get an image of your head of someone bowling. I feel like I'm wasting your time now. So back on track. I've noticed every time someone bowls a strike, their ball hits the head pin. But the thing is, just because your ball hits the head pin doesn't mean you knock down all the pins. However, if your ball does not hit the head pin, your chances of getting a strike are virtually impossible. So I've noticed in life, it's very similar like bowling. Again, this isn't me, that you have tasks that you do throughout your day, but there's certain tasks that are more important than others. For example, I woke up this morning and decided my most important task, my head pin for the day, was making this video. But for three, four hours, I did this. Because the head pin, the most important task, often stresses us out. It exerts a lot of energy, and it's much easier doing the easier stuff, like going shopping or watching reruns of The Office, eating popcorn, whatever it is. But I know if I'm not careful, I won't be able to get a strike for the day. I won't knock down many pins if I'm focusing on the insignificant tasks. Now, my friend, I ask you, what is your head pin? What is your most important task for making progress on your life and your dreams? Focus on knocking that down first, and the other pins will take care of themselves. Number two, you may never feel like it. I didn't grow up in the biggest house, but my mom instilled in me the importance of having a clean house. And every single week I had to clean my bathroom. It was nice having a clean house, but I didn't like cleaning. And I thought, once I get my own place, I'll do it when I feel like it. A couple years ago, I got my own place, brand new, everything was clean, looking good, but I kept relying on my feelings to clean it. And before I knew it, months went by, and my bathroom started to look like this. I thought, ah, this is disgusting. And it is disgusting. But I'll wait until I feel like it. Another few months went by, it was getting worse, and I realized that I will never feel like cleaning my bathroom. Just like important tasks in your life, you may never feel like it, because it's uncomfortable, it stresses you out. But the feelings you need may never come, and you may waste your life. And I will tell you from cleaning my bathroom, after cleaning it, I feel like I've cleaned part of my soul. But don't miss this. The soul cleansing, this great feeling I had, came from cleaning it even though I didn't feel like it initially. Nike has nailed it. Stop waiting for the right feeling and just do it. And the last thing, have someone hold you accountable. Last night I was at the bowling alley. And I thought that was a perfect opportunity to tell people about the head pin concept. And I told one friend that my head pin for today was making this video. And I told him that if I didn't knock it down, if I didn't do it, that he had permission to punch me in the face. Now that's the thing with accountability. If you don't show up, you have to have some consequences. So that could be being punched in the face, having to pay someone money, whatever comes to mind that you're afraid of, whatever inspires you to act and do. I'd recommend you sharing this video with someone so that they know about the head pin concept and the importance of focusing on the most important tasks. Also, so they know about my bathroom story and the horrors of waiting for the right feeling to do something. And lastly, that you can have someone who's gonna hold you accountable in life and that you can hold them accountable as well. This is your friend Michael Lunks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be waiting to see you in the next video.